Welcome, kings and queens, to another episode of Unapologetic, your number one podcast. This is the show where kings and queens tell their legacies and on. So get ready for the gems to drop and pull up to the table because we're ready. Like an itch that you can't scratch, man. It's it's hard. So I can only what do you imagine. Get, the harder it is to be like, dang, boy, I got to walk up in this gym. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so how how is heavy, man? Shoot, that stuff is heavy. <laughs> how you look at it, bro? That is heavy. People can tell you you see all the people happy and they be like, yeah, 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 rah, 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 man. That stuff heavy, bro. I don't care who you is. Right. Man, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. So what what how far do you want to go? If you well, should let me ask this. Let me put it this way. With all the things that you do, which one, which skill or or passion which one is your biggest passion for one and number two is that the one that you're trying to take the furthest in you know in your life well this my foundation is always going to be firefighting my foundation is always going to be uh, medicine um at the end of the day like i say that's that's what i love that's what i love to do love my job um i'm always excited about going to work i'm never having to like oh man i gotta go to work today um, right no, that's that's never gonna change. No matter what doors open for me, this foundation will always be my foundation. So if a door opens that will compromise this foundation, then I can't go through it. You know, because mm. wow. at the end of the day, man, this this is too much stability. And you know, I know people are like, oh, you gotta take a leap, you gotta take a jump. I could take a jump and still have my, my bungee cord on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't, I ain't got to jump off with no cord. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people like to jump off the cliff. <laughs> said with a budget course. Yeah, keep the cord attached now, bro. You can't just jump off and hope you can fly. Now, some people fly and other people don't fly. So, <laughs> so, I mean, if I jump off and I fly, it's going to be awesome. But if I don't, you know, I got that bro, cord. Back hey, up, that's the, I got to steal that, man. <laughs> like I said, I ain't got hey, nothing against anybody that just, you know, I respect anybody say, you know what, I'm going to chase my dream. I'm going to quit everything that I got and I'm going to go out here with nothing but my Nothing but a dollar in my drawers. I ain't got no, I ain't got nothing but respect for you. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, man! It, and then, man, I, I, I like because you, you built your, because I, 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 I'm gonna call it an enterprise. I'm gonna keep calling it enterprise for you, man. <laughs> You're building this, man. You built this from the ground up because, uh, like you was telling her, like you were saying earlier, you. You was new to TikTok, you know. You was new to the social media thing, and already you had a hundred and sixty, seventy thousand followers. Yeah, bro. You know, and and still, then crazy, you, still crazy, man. <laughs> bro, it's like, bro, because when you was telling me, you know, throughout the conversation when we were talking, messaging each other, I said, man, you, man, you've been doing this for a couple of years. You ain't just start this, one hundred sixty thousand mm -hmm. followers, and then you have some big celebrities, man, like. You know, you got Snoop Dogg uh, following you, following your regiments, following what you what you do. You have, you know, certain actors. And it's like what this is. I thought it was all fake. Of her. I ain't gonna lie to you. I thought it was all fake. I was like, who these people? Like, I thought, <laughs> no, way. no way. When I saw, when I saw like Anthony Anderson and Snoop and like James yeah, man, like Taylor's. I'm like, hold on, let me check this thing because you know it's a lot of fake accounts out there. It's true, <laughs> true, true. <laughs> So I'm looking and I'm like, nah, man, these people really, you know, they just saw something I'm doing, man. I say, that's what's up, man. So definitely, um, like I say, it's very, um, it's uh, it's humbling, but at the same time, it's like, dang, that's crazy, man. man but but what did you do when you when you found out, like, like how, like, give give a little bit of how did you, uh, take it in, like stomach it, man? Because a lot of you, you got some pick some young cats that get to this to the two year level, mm -hmm. and it'd be like. They think they on cloud ten. You, you can't tell them nothing. They cocky level goes from zero to two thousand, <laughs> or they be like they nervous. So how would you, you know, uh, give nervous. advice to help people ease into this type of lifestyle? Um, um, well, my humble beginnings and foundation helped me ease into this, man. To be honest with you, bro. I mean, at the end of the day, we all people, and it's just another person in the world. Um. Mm. It's not a, it's not, it's the only thing that separates them from you is may, uh, maybe they're better off financially or they got a little bit more um, reach and notoriety. But at the end of the day, that's just another person. Um, it's great that they support what you do and 
hopefully it's somebody that you support what they do. Um, right. Like I said, at the end of the day, man, it's 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 we all we all just people, man. At the end of the day, we all bleed. At the end of the day, we all gotta wake up, put work in, go back to sleep, man. Um, there's nothing like I say, nothing that separates them from you besides they got a few more people that know who they is. <laughs> and they probably they pockets probably a little bit bigger, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's what right. I the, what really puts it in perspective for me, and um, I told I, I talked I talked to another young dude about this that was interested in being a firefighter because he kind of asked me a similar question, and I was like, well, let's let's look at it like this, okay? If Jay Z, Snoop, Wayne, uh, LeBron James, whoever else, those five people, and you are all in a room, and in my line of work. If they're all in a room and somebody goes down, heart attack, who's the most important person in that room? You. I ain't got Damn. the money back. I ain't got the notoriety they got. I ain't got the connections they got. At the end of the day, I'm the most important person in that room. That just kind of put life in perspective for me. That ain't about what you got, who you got. It's none of that, man. Because at the end of the day, we all people. Man, I, that's that's a good scenario right there. Cause <laughs> yeah, I, I don't care who celebrity around. If you ain't a doctor, you ain't for that. You can't help nobody. Bro, you know what CPR is, bro. You just hey man, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 that's a dope analogy, man. Like uh, I was talking with a uh, a lady who owns her own occupational therapy therapy company you know uh she's a dope she's dope at what she does uh her name is paula hawkins shout out to miss hawkins man she's worked with uh floyd mayweather bernie mack and she was saying the exact same thing she was uh summing up like man i've been around so many rich and powerful individuals but the 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 big factor is me because I'm there to help heal these people in order for them to keep going along with whatever they doing. And I'm right. like, man, that's that that holds weight, you know, even though it sounds simple, but we're in a world where, you know, accolades and, you know, if you a celebrity or a public figure, people people will walk over you. You know, you could be the newspaper man, but if if Denzel Washington walks out of, out of a hotel building, man, you finna get ran over. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like it, it it's it's um it's good to hear that from individuals like yourself who are you know even though you don't see yourself as this you know this upcoming superstar, this upcoming you know uh, uh, public figure, uh, it, the whole world does though. You know people people really pay attention to. The moves that you make, you know, as you're you're verified on Instagram, man. You got a hundred thousand followers over here. You got twenty thousand on on Facebook, and it's like, man, you you getting all this notoriety and and, and uh, exposure, but you know, you like a regular dude. I meet at the bar, like <laughs> like what's like you want a coat, you, know, you want, you want a beer you. or something, man. It, no, it's, it's, and, and that's awesome though, man. Like, like it, it, no, I'll never, I'll never not be that same kid that grew up on the hundred eighty third or thirty seventh. Oh man! Oh, uh, he, uh, y'all, he brought out the street names. He, he unapologetic in him. Man. He brought out the street name. Uh, that dude, man, I ain't never gonna, never not gonna be that guy, man. Man, man so, no. you, like I said, we, we have too much information, too much stories about how people come from a certain place and and make it to certain levels and then lose who they were as a person, man. And if you right. don't learn, you, the worst thing you can do is not learn from others' mistakes, man. Not learn from other people's experiences. Mm. So like I said, I've gained, I've been fortunate to gain a lot of, a lot of knowledge, talk to a lot of people and, and associate myself with a lot of people in life that, that have dropped gems to me and, and helped right. to the right direction, man. So um, again, man, it's just never, it's just about never getting too high, man. Never get too high on who you are. Never get too high on what you're doing, cause you know you could be you could be hot one year and you could be not the next year. You know what I'm saying? How many musicians you see come out? They got a good two year run. You'll never hear. Oh my god! Yeah, 
how many people do a movie, they in one movie, they can't get another movie after that, or they get a <laughs> TV show canceled after one season, bro. So you literally just got to take everything in stride, man, and live in the moment. Don't think that this stuff going to be forever. And um, like I say, don't ever get too high, man. Just keep being humble, stay who you are, and, and the blessings that keep coming. It's, it's when you start to smell yourself a little bit. That's what I know. <laughs> Life will put you right back down, man. Uh, yeah. So, all right, so, uh, just two more, just two more, bro. What What is it that that you are trying to accomplish for 2023? Man, I really just want to continue to just um, put out this content, man. Really just um, continuing to get better at it. Um, it's like so I tell people all the time, man, as long as y'all keep liking it, I'm going to keep doing it, man. The moment y'all stop liking it, man, that's when I'm going to hang it up, man. And like I said, just hopefully it opens doors, man, open doors to other opportunities, um, definitely still my main, one of my goals in life is to open my own gym and a scholarship program for anybody who's interested in becoming a first responder, whether that's a firefighter, paramedic, or EMT. So um, definitely wow. to work on that as far as like raising money and, and putting it out there and getting donations and things of that nature. Because um, again, like I say, man, I want to make sure everybody around me, even people that I don't know, if I can help them get to this to where I am, even in this line of work, man, because it's a great career, and especially for our community. <clears throat> our community, a lot of people don't really know. Um, you know what a firefighter is, but you don't really know the intricacies. You don't know how it can be. Not really. You Not don't really. know this this great work schedule. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, like the benefits and the retirement and all that stuff. Like I talked to a lot of um, I talked to a lot of people when they asked me. And I thought I started telling them. I could just see the, their eyes like open up and like a light switch come on. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. that's, that's what happened with me. Somebody had to tell me and put me on game. So right, help put others on game. And like here in here in Florida, um, certain places you can get um scholarships and they'll help you. But other places like where I went to the academy, um, you have yeah. to come out of your pocket, and that it ain't cheap, man. And like I say, by the grace of God, I was able to um have my my wife in my life who was able to help me to um get to the point that I can go to EMT school and go to fire academy. Um, she sacrificed a lot to put me through it. And a lot of people don't have um have people in their corner to sacrifice for them like that. So even if I can just help one, you know, with a scholarship or help one with with the finances to just say, hey, I know you got the drive. The only thing that's holding you back is you might not have um the means to be able to start mm. and help a person start, you know, that's 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 a win in itself, man. So that's some uh, something I want to get accomplished. Um, in the in the near future, even if it's not this year, man, it's just a goal of mine in life. Um, and like I say, who knows, man, what doors this other stuff opens up to, whether it be different um spots on different uh, uh acting, TV, movies, whatever, man. I'm open to, like I say, anything that don't uh, <laughs> that don't uh, put me to compromise myself, man. Hey, I I I get that, I get that, because I thought acting would be like the biggest thing because I seen like a. <laughs> A picture of you dressed up as a ninja or something, <laughs> <laughs> something like that, man. That was, that was the, one of my. That's a commercial I did for my chiropractor fan, man. He, uh, <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like I, I thought it was. I could do like backflips and stuff, man. I was a little younger back then. I ain't as young no more. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because I was looking at, I'm like, bro, this dude is. This is like a a ninja movie because you know you in Florida. So it's, <laughs> Florida is known for their action movie, yeah. Bad Boys, yeah. you know, to, you know, to Casino Bank, you know, so I'm like, maybe he's doing an action film, but I'm like, why was a ninja be on the beach? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> no, man, like I said, it was just a little commercial, man, and at that time, I was doing mixed martial arts, so I was fighting, and it just all kind of came together, so. Oh, were you, that's right, you was a part of the... So I did um amateur fighting for a little bit um down here in Florida. They got something called the XFN. So I did a few fights. That's what it okay. I did a okay. few fights in that. And um yeah, uh, that's another thing you gotta have a love for, man. You know, you gotta get punched you, in the face a lot. Yeah, yeah, and, and punching somebody else. Like I'm gentle at heart, bro. I'm not really a violent person. Like I don't I don't like to get violent if I don't have to, man. So I did it, I tried it. It is right. what it is. And I moved on. Okay, okay. It was just a little taste. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, just something yeah. to try, man. That, that was back when I was still trying to just try to still be an athlete. And I was like, nah, them days is done, man. I'm good. 
<laughs> okay, man. Oh my God, man. I I appreciate you know the conversation, bro. I I never like I never would have thought a quarter of the things that you told me today. Never would have thought that you did all this stuff. Like I was reading, you know, you read up on, you know, do your research, you know, trying to figure out how to correspond with a person. It's never going to be the same when you sitting down and having a face to face conversation with somebody, because then you get the meat and the potatoes of who this person is and how they came as far as they came. And with you, man, it's like your your family is your biggest support system especially mm -hmm. because of your mother, you know, that's she was, that, that, that's a hardworking woman. Shout out to, my, to your moms, man, that she, that's beautiful. And then, you know, to have that sort of upbringing still within you to help push you as far as you've been pushed and you still going, you know, going strong right now, man. You're like, it's, it's crazy. And you know, that this goes to show the dedication of hard work of being just, not just an entrepreneur, uh, but also, you know, uh, a person that has a nine to five, regardless of what you do, you know, especially if you have the love and the passion for it, man, it's pretty much sure you, man, just, you got to hustle, you know, you got to work hard. It's going to be painful. Jesus is going to be painful. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I guess I'm doing a good job, man, because if my social media kind of persona is different than who I am, then I'm doing a good job. <laughs> yeah, man, like I mean, your social media got life. you looking like you an action movie star. <laughs> I ain't gonna stop. I'm it's like doing a good me. job of keeping my life private, so that's how I want it. So that's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, I thank you for coming on to the Unapologetic Family, man. You're a part of it. If you have any, you know, just hit me up anytime, bro. Like, hey, bro, I want you to be a part of so and so, man. I, I'm here for you, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate and, it's, it. and it's crazy, man, how humble you are. You know, especially, you know, you being a part. You know, you're a superstar yourself in my eyes, but you being a part of, you know, a family that's full of people who are doing amazing things, man. It, it, it's, 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 it's happy. I'm happy to see that you, you stick it to your lane, you stick it to your own wits. You know what I'm saying? You're not Ooh. trying to become something that you're not. So I, I love that about you, man. I appreciate that. No, man, thank you for having me, brother. Appreciate it. Appreciate the conversation. Like I said, I'm always good to. Like uh, talk with anybody who who want to know, man. It's more knowledge and more things I can get out into the world are better. And like you say, as long as people don't, I hear just think I'm some, some goofy dude, man. Like I like, to <laughs> man, I'm still a grown man, bro. Right, hey, hey, I, I love, man. We love all love. But right, thank man, you all, man. Get out of here, cause I gotta go do the daddy duty things. Make sure the little man is taken care of, man. I appreciate you having me. I appreciate everybody out here taking the time to listen to this. I want you guys to support my brother here, support his podcast, support everything that he's doing. And um, like I say, till next time, brother. I appreciate it, man. Thank you all for tuning in to Unapologetic, your number one podcast. And everything that be Mr. Taylor will be on the description below. So make sure y'all hit him up, man. If y'all got any questions, support him, man. We love y'all, man. Stay unapologetic. Absolutely. Thank you, brother. Yep.